Hey, what's happening, everyone? Brian coming to you from the bench today. Wanted to do a follow-up on the uh, resin tips and tricks. This is uh, what I've been doing for headlights, and I also do it for taillights as well. I have some clear red resin that I use for taillights, and it's kind of the same process as what you've seen me doing with the flocking and, and the bodywork is uh, I've poured in some clear resin here. This here is any cubic uh, resin. It's hardened with a UV light. I've shown you that in the last video, and I'll put the links up again for them. It's just a, a toothpick sitting in here that and mix it up with and sometimes apply um, apply the resin with just a toothpick. Um, so I got a buckets and a grill assembly here, headlight buckets and grill assembly for a 70 Ford uh, Boss Mustang. And we're going to uh, build up headlights in the buckets with our clear resin. The difference between the applying it in the um, bodywork as well as uh, uh, using it for flocking is you actually have to build it up. You can't just fill it full and then throw the UV light over it. It'll bubble and it just won't look right. It'll actually um, bubble and have a reaction to uh, having that much product trying to cure at the same time. Uh, so this is what, what you basically do is, is you're just doing the same process over and over again. Uh, a brush, put some, I just put a dab in there. Put a dab on my brush and let it drip down into the headlight bucket. Get your headlight bucket, you know, somewhat full. I don't know if you guys can see, you can see a little discoloration there, but it's clear. Okay, and then I'm going to hit that with my light. Uh, the UV ultraviolet light. And we're going to repeat this process multiple times to get the desired uh, finish that you're looking for as well as uh, how deep you want your headlights you know do you want your buckets uh, or your headlights all the way out to the edge of the bucket or do you want them um, kind of flush you know it's it's up it's up to you on how that works again I just hit it with the light off camera here the lights just off to my left so I didn't want to just blind you with that light you can see though that I'm not able to go all the way into that there, I put in just a little bit extra. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit off camera. I'm trying to do this uh, looking at my, my product and not my camera screen there, so I apologize for that. So we've got it a little bit filled in some more. We're going to hit it with the ultraviolet light again. So you guys don't think I'm trying to pull anything funny. I'm going to move this resin cup so I don't dry it when I pull the UV light up. UV light, you can see everything turns blue. There it is. You can see the UV light drying. You can see the resin on my fingers even. But that kind of gives you an idea of what it does. And it doesn't take very long at all. Same thing as the bodywork. This is a, another tip or trick that is uh, sped up the process of my building um, tremendously. And giving me a much better looking headlight, in my opinion. Um, they, they look more realistic. They don't look like uh, a toy. Um, they have a little bit of coloration to them as far as a little bit of yellowing. Uh, anytime the UV light uh, is on the, the UV resin, it'll give it just a little bit of yellowing. Not much though. With the, And this is clear resin. It, it, the red resin for my taillight, same process. If you're filling in an entire bucket like this, it just takes a little bit of time. Uh, in a little bit of resin and you've got yourself some some decent looking uh, headlights when you're done um, and they, they just I mean you can already see let me get the, my hand up there and get the camera to focus in on those so you can actually see them um, those look pretty darn decent put on my glasses here so I can see see exactly what I'm looking at and see if it meets my uh my standard for headlight and it pretty much does I'm going to put just a little bit more into each one um, again I want to give it that realistic look and again guys this is a process that I learned from my good buddy Mike North over at Northwind Customs uh, he showed me how to do the body work and stuff and we got to talking about the no, why not do it for headlights and taillights? Because we do a lot of 3D resin printing, both of us do. 
and it's just a time saver and uh, it's been pretty phenomenal you you, you get uh, a little bit of ideas behind you and you come up with some different stuff and you know a lot of people might know about this and a lot of people might not but there you go you've got two headlights that now are completely hardened these are dry nothing's coming out on my fingers see nothing's on my fingers these are dry and that took what five minutes to do and apologize if the the camera's just not getting everything you can see the reflection that it gives you but look at how much more realistic that looks than say your your normal headlight that's thrown in there that has a bunch of glue behind it you can also continue to add and bubble up the the front of it so it's not a flush mounted uh, headlight i like the flush you can see from the side there it's pretty flush um just an extra tip or trick for you another reason for the resin again this is the any cubic uh uv resin uh, get it off of amazon i'll add the link to it um just an extra way to to do little things and then uh, another tip for you is uh so i've done the interior tub of the, the 70 already and uh, i'm going to add the resin over the gauges so it actually looks like it has glass over it instead of just uh, flat black with some uh, white pencil liner in there to give you some detail we'll do the exact same thing on this um, i'm just going to dab it in here while i'm talking to you guys i hope you all are having a great december i hope it's been a good year for all of you i appreciate everybody's support um, it's been a, a terrific year for us um, i've been having a lot of fun back in the bench and just you know back to building uh, it's been been a while since I've been at the bench and uh, had the time that I've been able to contribute to it this year. Uh, for those that you don't know, I own a car lot as well, and uh, that takes up a lot of my time, but uh, I've been able to get away a little bit more this year and uh, get back to the bench, which is where I like to be because I enjoy building models. Um, it's a passion for me. Some, some it's just a hobby. This is true passion for me. I love love building the model cars love bringing them to life so there is the wet resin in there you can see it all wet and we're going to hit it with the uv light again again i'm doing this just off camera to the left here because i don't want the brush as well as the uh the little jar of uh resin uh, i use uh either the small dixie cups or i use the little mixing cups that i use for my paint to to put it in and it will stay in a liquid form for months, as long as it doesn't have any UV light. So if it gets hit by sunlight, it's gonna harden up. So here you go, that's hardened up. And now I've got gauges that look a little bit more realistic and have some glass to them instead of just uh, nothing there. And this is just a, an easy, easy tip trick. Uh, again, just wanted to bring you that follow-up video. I was asked a couple questions about headlights, so I thought I would uh, bring you that follow-up video and show you how I do it. Uh, again, questions, comments, concerns, get a hold of me. Uh, easy to uh, reach out to. You can reach me on the thesaleshack.net. Um, you can reach me at uh, thesaleshack at outlook.com uh, on my email there, or you can just message me on here if you have any questions about this process or what would like to know, know more about it or where to get stuff i will add the link to the resin and the uv light again down there for you guys uh, as well as the mixing cups um god bless you guys i, I hope that you all have a, a happy and safe uh christmas merry christmas to everybody if i don't get another video out before before then and uh hope to see you at the bench soon god bless and happy modeling